Jordan Trail is a 650 kilometer trekking route that starts at Umkwai in the north of Jordan and runs down the length of the country to Aqaba on the Red Sea coast. It's not a place you're going to find conventional travelers and it definitely isn't easy, but it really does feel like one of the last great adventures left in the world. First of all, Jordan is a safe country to travel in. It's politically stable, it's socially progressive, and you'll be hard pressed to find any people as genuinely friendly and hospitable as Jordanians. Whether you're sharing a meal with strangers or chatting with Bedouin around a campfire, the people here are reason alone to make the trip. The landscapes here are out of this world, and the trail traverses the best of them. Rugged mountains, sprawling amber deserts, winding canyons, the surreal Dead Sea. So much of it looks straight out of a sci-fi film. You have this heightened awareness that you're just a speck on this tiny planet, floating around in the vastness of space. If you're looking to immerse yourself in the wilderness, this is the perfect place to do it. Jordan is loaded with breathtaking historical sites, the standout being Petra. A lot of people imagine Petra as a single monument, that iconic image of the treasury that you see in films like Indiana Jones. But actually, Petra is a prehistoric city that stretches more than 250 square kilometers. The landmark sites here can get pretty touristy, but the trail actually weaves through Petra via a lesser known ancient Nepotean trail, as opposed to the typical tourist entrance. It puts all that magic and sense of discovery right back into it. You don't need to hike the trail alone. The Jordan Trail Association operates an official through hike that runs the entire trail, which takes about 40 days. You can register to join the hikers for sections of the trail, or you can go from start to finish. It has vehicle support to transport your tents and bags to the next camp or homestay, local guides, and local cooks. It's carried out sustainably and attracts a really cool group of adventurers from all over the world. The sense of achievement you feel from finishing a section, or the whole trail itself, really just cannot be beat. You're pushing your limits constantly out here, and at the end of each day, you look back and realize physically how much land you've covered. These steep rock faces and arduous paths, so many of which are only accessible by foot or donkey. It's a feeling of self-confidence and accomplishment that really stays with you long after you return home. And after a trip like this, you'll probably feel prepared to conquer just about any challenge your future travels throw at you.